What's up everybody, it's Jamie Josta here. Welcome to the first episode of Metal Dudes Doing Non-Metal Things. We're about to walk in and meet my first guest. Metal Dudes Doing Non-Metal Things. Metal Dudes Doing Non-Metal Things. I think she's down here. Okay, the key to the knock is you always have a secret knock. In our case, it's hey breed, not one truth. I'm Jamie Josta. I'm Howard Jones. And we're metal dudes doing non metal things. Yeah. <laughs> metal dudes doing non metal things. Metal dudes doing non metal things. One of the most non metal things to do is probably feed baby animals. Fuck out of here. asshole. I'm fine with that. Goats. <laughs> Although goats are pretty metal. A little bit. You know, you know. Ducks. Beards, you know. Alpaca. Are there any there? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. I figured since we're on the way to do something that's really not metal, we need to listen to something that's really not metal. Any requests? Well, what I basically do uh, when I'm when I'm like trying to write. I, I try not to listen to anything metal or noisy, so I just go the opposite end. I listen to hip hop. So I've been listening to a lot of Juicy J. Yes, we have big fan of Juicy J. Mm -hmm. Juicy J is so not metal that he ends up being metal. Yep. And Three Six Mafia, when they were in the unsigned hype in the Source back way back in the day. It said influences Black Sabbath and Metallica. So Juicy J <laughs> is metal. His music might not be metal, but he's metal. This mixtape. How's he dropping so much stuff? I done beat him like goddamn. Got these hoes like goddamn. All this ice that I'm rocking. Got a nigga like goddamn. You could be here with me reaping up benefits if he wasn't such a hoe. <laughs> of course, I missed the turn. I feel like this is the real adventure, the drive yes. itself. Just getting there. See, it's too bad that we couldn't do stuff like this in metal, where for the chorus, you just say the word <laughs> that, that you want to say. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't work for metal, like, no. deal. Dio couldn't go like, I got this dragon, dragon, <laughs> dragon. All I blow is loud, all I blow is loud. I'll be out, like one time I was at a concert with my daughter, I won't say which artist, because <laughs> it was really on metal. Yeah. But you know, other dads were there and then they're all coming up to me like, what are you doing here, bro? I don't care, but people think like when you're in metal that you, there's just some things you aren't allowed to do, but we have to live normal lives and try to be as normal as possible. Yeah. But we also need to have fun and... So, yeah, so you mean you don't think like the guys from Immolation get off stage and then call their mom? Well, I don't think like Watain is going to feed the baby goats. <laughs> I know. Unless he's, bling, he's bringing a blade with him. Right. It's just, it's not going to end well Unless for anybody. Sacrifice one of the goats <laughs> for the stage show. Going in. First stop, goats. 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 Goats are metal. Which one is the goat for? The, the, really? It's that one. Emus are metal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you guys are shooting a show here? We did not plan this. <laughs> Wait a minute! You've got to be kidding me! Bubba Dudley! Welcome to Dudleyville! 
of a race. Yeah. <laughs> and we come here like all the time. That's great. Just, just this yeah. is just our like relaxation therapy. Yeah. 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 When he was on Headbangers Ball, this is when like probably I don't know. We had Stacy Keebler, Jericho, you. Who else was on that episode? Those are the I think maybe Lita. Lita. Yeah. You guys set aside like two hours to tape the show. And we got it done in like 45 minutes. And everybody's like, how did you guys do that? Like, we perform on live TV, you know? So right. it, we, we blazed by the show really quick. Yeah. You it guys was a good time. And now everybody has podcasts. Jericho's killing it with his podcast. It's up to You're me. doing so, a good job with yours. I'm, yeah, we're trying, you know. Jericho's, I'm like, I'll text him and I'll be like, how many Hall of Famers do you got on now? Because he's got like, you know, Paul Stanley. And I like it when he just name drops. He'll be like, yeah, so I was talking to Paul the other day. And I'll be like, OK, Paul who? He's like, oh, Paul Stanley. Yes. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> this could beat the goat for the most metal animal here. I don't know what it is, but it's a hairy horned, a hairy horned beast. That's the Highland cow from Scotland. What? The Highland cow from Scotland. Dude, a monomarth drinks from that. We're sorry that a monomarth did that to you, buddy. Yeah. It's a really hard nose. Dude, he's cool. Yeah, he I gotta is. go vegetarian, bro. Are deers metal? I don't know. I think out yeah. of the top, goats are definitely metal. Pretty good looking though. Yeah. Now see, the, the problem with this is that even though we're feeding them, Howard would definitely cook up a deer filet in a heartbeat. You are so cute. Deer are so nice. Look at that. Oh, he's biting that one. Yo, bison is metal. Although, I did have a bison burger recently and now I feel terrible because look how cool he is. You really don't want to eat a large, slow animal like that, or do you? I'm conflicted with this whole show right now. That bison could easily be in Corn Circa Follow the Leader album. Stuck mojo. <laughs> the zebu is from South Asia and or India. Brahmin cattle, bull cow, calf. The diet is grain, grass. Oh, by the way, these are still the same minutes. deer. Oh shit, that's a, that's <laughs> a zebu. Right if that bison didn't like us, if he looked over and thought Howard was a Native American that slaughtered all his ancestors right now and charged. <laughs> hold on, you know, something right here. Other side, other side. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. oh, yeah, good. Oh, <laughs> oh, the black sheep. Or no, this is like a two-tone sheep. I'm sorry that wolves don't lose sleep over your cries. These are goats. Piebald sheep. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Piebald sheep. Piebald. Wasn't that a band? Yes, it was. Or the piebald. That's piebald. Oh, piebald, piebald. Yeah. Yours is piebald. <laughs> Ours is piebald. Yours <laughs> is. And ours is. Here's a secret stash. He's, he's, got, the, he's got the big bucket. The big That's bucket. What we need. As you can see, they, they know. They, they, they're looking at me now like, all right, look, oh yeah, they're on. He's he's the man. Man. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get them to circle pit around. <laughs> oh, the emo, I don't know. The emo is too hardcore. Yeah, this, there you go. Is that the emo emu? The emo emu. Is, I'm not into the emu. Sorry, I'm out. I'm out. Yo, that one just bit the other one's face. I think. It's only the strong survive. Well, this thing got teeth on him. Well, that thing's got teeth. This one's too aggro for me, bro. He's This one's metal. The Black Alpaca is metal. Why isn't there a stoner rock band called Black Alpaca? You got that new Black Alpaca album? That shit's hard. Yo, this one is straight out of Never Ending Story. Look at that face. Who's a good boy? Yo, we just got a message through the universe. Jesus Christ post. <laughs> it is. Holy shit, the hand sanitizer is in the tune of Jesus Christ post. Thank you, Chris Cornell looking down, looking down on us. I'm about to whoop that ass at Rubber Ducky Derby. Team Josta. Rubber Ducky Derby. Is this a thing? Yeah, you know. Howard's having flow problems. Wow. 
All right, on your marks. All right. Get set. Go. <laughs> Time to show Howard the goat equivalent of Kirk Winstein from Crowbar. There he is. All I had I gave. So much to let go to sunlight. Howard, you want to get your hair done at the hair salon? <laughs> yeah, because that's been a problem for a long time now. <laughs> Two things you must get when you come to Eastern Connecticut to Silverman's Farm. It's famous cider donuts. Kettle corn. This is why I'm fat. This is why you're fat. This is why you're fat, you fat fuck. More bands should use a bison on their t-shirt. A lot of bands have used the goat skull or the goat head. But a bison is hard. And how great was it? we saw Bubba Ray Dudley? Amazing. I was, I just out of the blue. He's not too metal to go and enjoy. Yeah. And he frequents. I love that he comes to Silverman's farm to get away from the noise of the outside world and have a little peace and calm. More metalheads yeah. need to do that. You know? Connect with nature. The rooster was great. The John Absolutely. Five rooster. So look, he even does the stage move. The head movement like John Five. It's kind of like a John Five Mickey D hybrid wig that he's got going on. John Five. I was thinking more um, CC, but CC can, from Poison. Yeah. Is Poison metal or are they rock? Oh, they're glam. Definitely more rock. That guy will fuck you up, right? Like a homeboy from uh, Poison. He's like a badass black belt jujitsu. I have no idea. So you better watch out, Ricky Ooh. Rocket. We got to get him on the podcast. When you're going on 95 North, maybe you're going through Connecticut or you're going through Mass, you have to get off exit 46 and go to the Mexican food truck pod at Long Wharf, all right? New Haven, Connecticut. That's the best burrito you're going to get. Quesadillas, nachos, whatever you want. I feel like we're close to Ikea. Tortas. Yes, we are close to Ikea. <laughs> All right, we're here at Exit 46, Mexican food truck pod. If you're coming through Connecticut, you gotta stop off in New Haven, Long Wharf. Burritos are metal. Can I have a burrito, no carne, uh, no tomato? No tomate. Rice and beans. Rice and beans, please. What do you want? My treat. I'm getting two chicken burritos. Howard's getting two. These are big, right? You think you can eat two? Yeah, they're big though, right? That's the metal way to open your drink. Look at that. Oh. Bang it, son. Hey. Hey, did you see Chris Adler's here getting burritos? Amazing. 